<laughs> Making something beautiful gives you a sense of purpose and, and fulfillment that really no other pastime can. Whether it's card making or woodworking even, we all have inside of us the ability to make things and do things and produce things. And crafting is just about bringing that out. People love that satisfaction of making things. It's very important that you can achieve what I can achieve, and I make it easy for you to do that. I don't remember a time when I wasn't crafting. I don't know anything different but to craft. I was uh, such a uh, fan for so many years before I actually got to meet Anna, and I've loved her ever since, and I'm so happy to call her a friend now, and she's so creative, and she's so brilliant, and she does just beautiful, elegant pieces for us here at HSN, and they're all 100% exclusive. You can't find them anywhere else. Hey, I'm Suzanne Runyon. Stick around for this hour. It's so cute because we were talking, and she said, Suzanne, do you realize I have not done a full sale hour? And she actually knew the date, June of 2018, but we've got big bargains for you of the beautiful Anna Griffin collections coming up in this hour, including this. I wanted to highlight this one first because I do a lot of fun stuff online, whether it's my Tuesday night show online or it's my 4 p.m. show tomorrow afternoon from my home. And you guys love anything slimline, slimline, slimline. That's kind of the new thing. Think of those business envelope links. Well, Anna, of course, has addressed that. And check out how elegant and beautiful and working these doors are. This is coming up. It was saved for tonight's show. It is the only airing. It is on sale. Of course, we have five flex pays on everything today, and it's so perfect for the holiday season, really any time, but even the, more so for the holidays. It's called our door and window slimline cutting dies. You get four metal dies. They will create the most gorgeous doors. So this is coming up, and you guys have made it a customer pick at the full price. So we've got it on sale. You can start ordering it now. Please also note, you will see some items in our show this hour where I have maybe 200, 150. There's a lot of really limited items coming up. So stick around because it's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, check out this very first item. Oh, love at first sparkly sight. It is all about Starburst. Now, this is exciting because not only do I have everything on sale, but we've got brand new on sale. And look at how incredible. Six different designs, all perfect, not only for the holidays, but again, every day as a background added to the interior of a card. It's stunning. I love to see this on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. It would be pretty amazing. Brand new, only airing. You're the first ones to get a look at it. And of course, the incredible Anna Griffin is joining me this hour. So Anna, how in the world did you remember that your last all sale hour was June of 2018? <laughs> well, Suzanne, I have a photographic memory, number one. Oh. But number two, it is a rare occasion that there's a sale on Anna Griffin products on HSN. And it's, I mean, it's rare, as my dad would say, as hen's teeth. But it's very <laughs> exciting. We do have brand new things tonight, which is also exciting. Uh, but it's really fun to have you back and to join you. Uh, I've missed you, Suzanne. I have missed you, too. I've been away on vacation the last couple times. So I'm glad we're back together because, you know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so the spectacular Starburst dies, it's a set of 12 dies. There's six uh, different, they're, they're, they're all different styles of Starburst that make uh, basically all the constellations. And if you think about when you're crafting for the holidays coming up, like for Christmas, and you want something to work to be really extra special, something that you can layer on top or, or just keep building or you want to make ornaments out of your paper crafts Ready. this is the greatest set we even have a little a north star a very fancy one that becomes 3d if you want it to be so cut several put them together make them incredible three-dimensional um, designs and it's so simple. Now, if you're using them for every day, that I have, I have some cards to show you, which is kind of fun. I have one that's in Christmas and one that's in every day. So a birthday splash of a surprise, right? Or a Christmas hello, easy to do, right? 
And then if you wanted to have something to say thank you, or even like I said, that North That's Star pretty. that we needed for the holidays, absolutely fun, beautiful. They're a little oversized. So if you're someone that wants something, you know, very small and diminutive, that's not what these are. These are big, they're bold and they're beautiful. And I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to make something like that. I have some scrap paper uh, from our Mac foil cardstock in the red and the green and the, there's a shadow layer for each one of the, uh, the, the starbursts. And what's so exciting about these, Suzanne, is that, I mean, I know you love to make jewelry out of your paper crafts. You could make some seriously cute earrings right here. Mm -hmm. um, just like that, you could make a pin, a brooch, all kinds of things. So each one of these, they're not your traditional starbursts because we have had um, a, a starburst die set on before. Last year we did a set and this one we called spectacular just for that very reason. We wanted you to have just that much more, right? The the ability to make it even more um, punctuated, exaggerated, uh, all those E words um, <laughs> that you, you know, use when you're describing something that, you know, looks like a, a little bit of pop art, you know, where it would say pow, or um, <laughs> it's a good this. idea. You know, it's, it's your day, right? It's a, it's a, it's fireworks. It's a celebration, uh, you know, and it's really something fun as an embellishment to use behind behind your sentiments, use them on top of, you know, whatever you're working with. It's You see how it just makes everything just kind of a lot more fun and you, festive. You know what so. I love is the idea of using these as tags too. Because you know, we, you know what I see your kids do? Because what's really neat about this is because you're getting 12 total, you're gonna get the background. You gotta remember, you're getting the foreground and the background. So see that, see the green you're seeing there on the star and then look behind it, that the gold part. So it'd be really fun to be able to make tags. You can put them on wine bottles during the holiday season. You could put them on gift boxes. Like I always think about that as we head towards the holidays is how can I make my tags really clever but make them really quickly? And because you give us that solid background, you could write on the back of the quote unquote tag when you make one of these stars. You certainly can. And yes, place cards, gift tags, all kinds of fun things. Just look at what, what happens when you take uh, the glitter, right? Cuts the right. starburst out of glitter. This is two different ones um, sandwiched wow. together. Looks like a giant snowflake. Add the layer on top in a different color for a little contrast. Keep layering, okay? So that's what's really fun about these is they're designed to go together. And then there we go. Just add that little sentiment in the center and you've got something that looks really spectacular. It looks like something that said, oh, wow, this is really important. Mm, or, you know, I, we, we do a lot of cards with angels around here, especially for the holidays, adding a little angel, some Dresden, and you've got a really beautiful set of embellishments. So. I'll just show you one, a card that we can make for birthday um, that's just for you, just as simple as adding just the giant starburst in the background, all right? So there we go, just for you. I'm gonna put that up in the top corner. And again, that could easily be something to wear, something to make, you know, it, it can be all kinds of present toppers, gift tags, oh, and wait the a minute, like. Wait a minute, you know what? Because you know you're like the queen of crafts there, Anna. Can you imagine doing a crown? And did, like if you have somebody as their birthday, or it's a little girl's like party, birthday party, and you made crowns that had the big burst of stars with their names on it, or whatever, bride, bridesmaids, you know, that whole thing. How much fun would that be? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it would be a lot of fun. And even, you know, you know, I love Iris Apfel and all of her jewelry on HSN. Yeah. You know, can you imagine making a big paper necklace of just all the Starbursts? Like that would be what's amazing. so great about these. <laughs> and, you know, I have just examples to show you on cards, but compound the embellishments, right? Make multiples of them and experiment with the geometry. And you'll be really surprised at what happens, you know, when you really really do start combining it with our pre-made rosettes um, that we saw those on on hsn.com today in our little uh, shoot that Sharon and I had done with all the rosettes and so our sale day wouldn't be complete without something brand new and very exciting we can cut those starbursts out of vellum oh and let me just show you look at this what if you were thinking there's what you were thinking about right crowns there you go right in the middle oh, there it beautiful is. 
blue and gold, and then, you know, there's cake. Oh, this is a gosh, very celebratory great. set, don't you think, Suzanne? I do, it's happy, and it's, you know, again, maybe you just wanna use it, maybe you're doing a really intricate, beautiful scene, and you want it almost to be like the sun, as it glares or flares, it would be super cool. But what I wanna do, guys, if we can go in really, really, really tight, so let, I want you to see, it's not just, it's, sometimes it's hard to see on their cameras in the studio, but look at this, see all the effect? It's not just the starburst, you can see that's all raised. Look at how intricate these designs are. Aren't they beautiful? And maybe you're doing a manger scene and you want to use this as the star for like a manger scene in front of a nativity card. Um, look at this great big one back here. I think this is so much fun. You know what I was thinking too? If you're like, in, if you're a school teacher, these would be really fun to make medallions for awards. Can you imagine how cute that would be if you want to do like good student of the week or something like that? And they got to wear a little pin on their, on their little shirt because they were a good student or they did really well or they were the most helpful kid in the class. Wouldn't that be, I just, my brain's kind of going to go crazy with all the things you can do with these. <laughs> You're so creative, Suzanne. I, 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 I couldn't agree more. That's the way to think about it because our dyes, they can become so many other things than just cards. So, <gasps> Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry, Anna. And easy. I just thought of two more. You ready? What's that? Okay, here we go. Yeah. How about you take them and you're gonna do garland with them on your tree? Beautiful. Okay, with one ribbon. more. And then okay. one more if you wanna put it under your fireplace. And if you put it under the mantle, a whole garland thing of stars on the mantle, done, done, done. <laughs> You're getting very festive over there. I am. I'm very festive today. All right, guys, here's an update. We've sold almost 1,000 uh, gone. I have only about 50% of those left, so that's it. These are almost completely sold out. It is brand new. I'm glad you guys are loving it. This one really rocks. Okay, give me another two hours, and I will come up with 20 more ideas with those. All right, so I promised you this is going to be not just the, one, the second in all time sale hours with Anna, but super sales. So are you ready? Check out this huge kit. This is called Celestial Card Toppers. Makes sense, right? Anna, you're gonna give me a couple seconds on this, guys. You gotta hurry. I have 350 total to go around. Anna, why do we love this kit? Oh, we love this so much, Suzanne. This is all the signs in the Zodiac. All, it's a card topper layer. It's all the sentiments. It's all the signs. I don't know what, what you're, uh, you're, you're a Leo, aren't you? I, you and I are both Leos. Yes, look at this. Uh, look at what you can make. You are making, you're getting pre-tied bows, you're getting layers, you're getting stars, all kinds of fun celestial things that mix and match so beautifully and so easily that you can send those special birthday cards to the cancer in your life or to the Leo like me. And Suzanne, it just doesn't get any better because these are all double-sided five by seven layers that you're getting. And look how pretty, they have a watercolor wash on each one of them. And then on the inside, all the stickers, oh, right? Cute. So of the Zodiac, you are the moon to my stars. Look at this, maybe you know a Scorpio and you wanna make a special, special card. You've got everything you need in this one little set. That is so cute. All right guys, really, really limited. That's one of multiple items we're gonna squeeze in the hour and everything is 100% on sale. All right, the next one I love. Anybody, anybody at all who gets an interactive card, it's always so much fun. You know how to, it's, you know, go out and buy a $5 card at the store, it's a piece of card stock with some printing on it or, for literally pennies, you can make a card like this that actually reveals like a prize or a surprise. I thought this would be a great idea when we launched this to make this a, um, a, a birth announcement, like if it's a boy or a girl, where there's like a reveal, right? So you reveal it, it's a boy, it's a girl, yay! <laughs> anyway, $65 originally tonight, it is on sale. It is this huge kit you're seeing in front of me to be able to make the shutter cards. Now, heads up. We're gonna have the dies that will allow you to make this over and over again coming up next on sale. So when you see this kit, if you get very excited and you wanna actually make your own, hang on for the dies coming up next, or of course you can buy them now if you want to. So Miss Anna, I love this. Everyone loves interaction. Why do you think that's so popular? I, I love interaction, especially interactive cards. I think it's popular because people, when you make something for someone, it is a gift. It's a gift of your time and your creativity. And what's so fun about having a card kit where all the cards in the kit do this, right? They do exactly that. 
right? They open, they present your message. They are an interactive experience. And you have all these beautiful embellishments, the shutters, the sentiments, the, the, the beautiful gatefold cards, and the signature cards, and the belly bands included in this box. Now, what we do with these kits, Suzanne, is that we put everything that we think you need inside each one. And what's so beautiful is there's instruction in each kit. And then as you go through all of the pieces and parts inside this box, we include the envelopes, we include the belly bands, and the sentiments and all the embellishments that you need plus those signature cards to create gorgeous shutter cards and we called it simple shutter cards for a reason and that is because when you look at I'm going to just take some of these things and show you when you look at the card itself all right so beautiful gatefold card. It's double-sided, so I didn't have to go searching through my double-sided cardstock in the craft room, right? I didn't have to search through my scraps. I have the beautiful, already gatefold, beautiful edged card ready to go. And then what I do is all I have to do is choose my shutters, all right? And there are these are in pairs, and they're all different colors, and they're double-sided as well. So the designs are going to be, you're going to make it your own by choosing the one of those. You're also going to choose one of the windows that corresponds with the pattern on the card that you chose. So here we have that matching pattern. So then all I have to do is pick the band that matches that as well. And then I'm ready to assemble this card. And we've made this, this is where it gets really simple. And that is we put all the pieces together. So I'm going to just show you. So we fold to the middle first just as simple as that. And our two shutters, uh, you add double-sided adhesive along the edge. All right, just like that. And we're going to, I'm gonna just align it very quickly right here on the inside edge, and I'm gonna fold that in. And you wanna make sure yours is nice and centered because mine just wasn't, but that's because I'm trying to do it too fast. All right. The same thing is gonna happen over here. And if you've ever made one of these from scratch, this is the, the most difficult part, is this part that moves in and out of what you're working on. And we've given you the window, and this is how it works. You just actually slide it down, and you scoop up your, um, your, your shutters on both sides, turn this in, and now our window is right there. So our window is ready to have the embellishment, it's ready to get the sentiment, then we make the band, we decorate the band because there's lots of embellishments in the in the kit. And then your card is absolutely beautiful. It's like nothing else that you probably made in your card making only because, you know, we, we open like a book mostly, right? We, we don't do the gatefold card. We certainly don't have all this wonderful room to write on these interactive cards like our pop-up cards or anything that you, you may have in your craft room. But I have lots and lots of examples examples to show you how beautiful, like you can decorate the belly band with some of your cutting dies. You can do the inside or the outside of the gatefold. See, it's up to you, like what you choose to be in or out. You can have it be simple or elaborate. Every color of card is included in the set. So lavender and pink and green and turquoise. And for, for me, the prettiest ones are the ones where all the decorations happening on the side. So it looks like you spent a great deal of time or a great deal of money to buy this ready-made, uh, but you can make this for your favorite friend or that special birthday or the thing that you want, the anniversary card that you've been thinking about making. This is going to give you the sentiment, the pageantry of the shutter, and then you'll have everything you need step by step. Okay, guys, and don't forget, coming up next, on sale, because we love the on sale pricing, we've got the ability to make the shutter cards. So if you really love this concept, what I like so much is, let's say you're absolutely brand new and you're like, oh my gosh, those are the prettiest darn cards. I wonder how easy this is. She gives you really great instructions. Everything is included. All you need is some double stick tape. I mean, that is literally it. And you can make 20 of the most gorgeous cards that you've ever made with little creative experience. <laughs> you just have to be able to follow some simple instructions and voila you're done she even always includes everything that you need to create what you need for this kit so it's all included a double stick tape you're good to go you know what i don't see out here and i just want to double check is do i need envelopes with this 
Nope, you get they the envelopes. Come. They're not out here, but indeed you get the envelopes included. I knew you were gonna have those in the kit for sure. <laughs> yeah, everything's in that box. Uh, it, you know, even the stickers are 3D, so they they have adhesive on the back. All you need is a little double-sided adhesive for those shutters and the overlay. Yeah, it's such a pretty kid, too. And Anna, if someone is brand new and they're like, oh, it's so beautiful, you know, would you share with them, it is, this is a very easy kit to actually work with. It is, it looks complicated. It looks like you had to choose a lot of colors and a lot of patterns, maybe get out a die set or two. Um, but no, everything's in the box, including the instructions. So if you've always wanted to make a card that's pretty impressive, uh, this is a, the, one of the greatest card kits that we've made because we made something difficult very simple. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap up. Now, if you love the concept, you've gotta see what's coming up next, but I promised you, a big hour, everything on sale. So here's another super sale. And you always, when we do these little mentions, you gotta move really quickly. This is called the Cake Pop-Up Card Kit, and it's spectacular. So Anna, share with us what you love about this kit. So this is so fantastic. This is another one of those all-inclusive card making kits, but this is a 3D pop-up kit. Okay, so you see this beautiful card, right? A little note to say, all these pretty cards are included, but look what happens on the inside, Suzanne. You make a three-dimensional, 360-degree cake with that. all the pieces in this kit. And we're talking about different colors of cakes, all the same size, a double-layer cake with the candle. And we put it together in such a way that, look at this, this is all the stuff that you're getting, all right? Everything, these are signature cards. You're getting over 200 pieces to make 20 amazing cakes. These are the layers and everything is on a tab system. These are the, this is the second layer and we teach you how to put it all together with the instructions. They even have cake plates, okay? Easy to put together, all scored. They have little notches for everything to go inside of and even the candles themselves, right? The layers, everything is just <laughs> so easy. Isn't that, that cool? If you, it is so cool, yes. And it looks like it's on the prettiest cake tray. <laughs> I mean, imagine somebody gets that. Now, again, with this kit, you won't get the blue sticker, that's for me. Uh, you'll be able to make 20 cards. You get all the envelopes, everything you need. All you need is a little adhesive every now and then, and you are good to go. So, again, very simple to do. All right, so remember we just talked about the shutter card kit, and that makes 20 beautiful cards. Now, imagine if you just wanted to do them forever and ever, and you wanted to do them for every holiday, every occasion, every card celebration, whatever you wanted to reveal it'd be so cute i think to do graduation announcements with these and reveal the grad's picture inside and you can just go on and on with the ideas this is the way you do it because you have to have the dies to be able to cut out all the pieces to make one of these cool cards and that's what this is all about and again on sale for the very first time it is available right now it is our shutter die collection it is also brand new but on sale and i only have a couple of hundred of these available to go around. So I love the fact that now we can make endless shutter cards if we want to, Anna. Exactly, Suzanne. And I think if there are people watching there are going, wait, do I have that on auto ship? Well, it's the final shutter card auto ship or oh, no, there's one more. Um, so yes, if you ordered this earlier in the year on auto ship, that this is this, this is it. But this is your only chance if you're seeing it for the first time. Uh, meaning that this is going to cut, this die is going to cut the entire card. This is going to cut the shutter de decoration. This is going to cut the band. And then this is going to cut the overlay and that's going to cut the shutter as well. This is what's going to happen. You are going to be able to take your favorite paper and create a card that is just as dramatic as all the cards I just showed you, but now we have all this beautiful curtains and tassels so that work cute. so easily together. So one right after the next, the card does cut all in one path and it embosses the details and then you're getting all this little lovely fringe. Wow. To me, Suzanne, this looks like a beautiful Christmas card waiting to happen because it's got that deck the halls kind of look to it. Uh, but I, there's no secret, I love, love, love curtains, love draperies. And so I'm gonna actually cut one of these to show you 
how easy it is to make the card. Uh, so you do need your large impress plates. And the reason you need that is because in one pass, we're cutting a 10 and a half inch by seven and a half inch piece of paper. And we're embossing the corners and we're cutting fancy edges, but we're also um, doing a little embossing on the score lines. So I don't have to measure. Once I've got a piece of paper as big as my mat, I have a card because it's that simple, that fast. And so you see how all these beautiful details, right? There's the edges, right? We have a beveled edge and you just fold to the center and then we go about creating all the rest of that card, the shutter card with the shutters and all the decorations to create that 3D, 3D experience. Now I have lots and lots and lots of samples and I'll show you how to put one together in just a second. But when you think about this, right? So I like this for my wonderful daughter, right? You, you wanna create a card for someone special in your life. This is the way that you wanna do that. And that little window gives you just the perfect place to put something special like a ballerina or if you wanted to say, um, live simply, dream big, be grateful, give love and laugh lots. I think that's so beautiful. But the die, it, it created the card, it created all this decoration and it created the curtained overlay. So easy to do and it gave you the band. It gave you the, the way in which you can make the band. And very simply, uh, th that's the part that holds the card together. And you can make this just by cutting it twice and seaming it together. Woo, that one's really really fancy. Um, you see all that sparkle. <laughs> I love uh, the sparkle. And an <laughs> yeah, and an upside down chandelier. Isn't that funny? More okay, is more. So yes, more is more. And then there's even more. That's a Liberace card. That's you... actually a Liberace card. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> With the chandelier and all the fabulous sparkle. Hey guys, this is so cool because in the last kit we had, if you're a beginner, that's probably where you want to start because you can make 20 beautiful cards right out of the gate. This means hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So if it's a beautiful wedding invitation, a baby reveal. It could be a graduation card. It could be a guy card. It could be anything. Think about all the different papers that you have at home. This could be really fun and bubbly like a birthday card for a child and it reveals a special little message or whatever that sentiment is the inside. So I want you to think about all the stuff we have at home and I love all our crafters who I join, join with me every Tuesday. We always laugh about how we're kind of card stock hoarders. This is going to take all of that and really allow you to utilize it in some such a fun way, but it's not a limit of 20 cards. It's literally an endless amount of cards and using all that stuff you've had for so long. You know, and I love your kits because whenever you do a big card kit, I always have a ton of leftover. So to me, I could take my card sock I have from you, my leftovers, and now really create a very unique and different card that maybe I haven't tried before. I, I agree. You know, I think that if you're just uh, starting to craft and you're thinking about, okay, I really want to start, I want to spend some time on something that makes me feel good, right? The, a card making kit is going to do that because you can get it out, you can separate it on your dining room table. And this particular thing, right, this die set, it's just an add on to that card kit that we just showed. Mm -hmm. Now you can make all the fancy shutter cards that you want to with the die set. So it's, you know, yes, you're hoarding your favorite cardstock? Absolutely not a problem. Uh, but you want double-sided cardstock for this type of card. All right. So here now I have the, the shutter that opens and closes. I'm going to slide my birthday greetings right in the center. And I like to do that after I've got everything lined up and on the inside. But then when we put this together, Suzanne, what we want to do is create the band. And so the die set is going to create ta a tabbed band that you put together end to end. And then we decorated this one to go on the front of the card. And we're just going to slide this over the gatefold. And one little trick is that if you bend the gatefold ever so slightly, right, just like that, right, like a napkin ring, everything's going to go on there That's nice pretty. and smoothly and easily. And so you've got, you've got, you know, hours of enjoyment with this really fancy die set. There's, e it's easy to make these cards. And I think that, you know, having a card all in one pass gives you a lot more strength, right? You, you know, oh, I'm going to get out my shutter dies. and I'm going to make one of those cards today. And once you start, you won't stop because you'll just love this style of card so much. That is so 
so true. And you know what? I'd love to do an update if we can on the very first brand new item, Pat, that we had in the show, which is the Star Collection, just because I know that was brand new. I'm going to keep everybody updated. This is brand new. Now, if you're in auto ship for her shutter system, you're getting this one or you've gotten it. Have you, is it get or got? What did you say, uh, Anna? D get. You're getting it. Okay, thank sure. you. <laughs> she said, oh, I have a 50-50 shot at getting that one right. Um, you're you're going to get this one. If you're not in an auto ship, it's very rare that she takes an auto ship and pulls it out by itself. But because it's just such a perfect set for the holidays, for that Christmas greeting, but again, for any occasion, this is spectacular. So if you love making really cool, unusual cards that everyone's going to thank you for, you're going to absolutely go crazy over this die set. Okay, I do want to show the Empress Machine. That's what Anna's working with. It is her number one most popular machine that she offers in her collection. It's the big guy that allows you to do amazing, amazing cutting of dies, doing beautiful embossing. You can do a lot of different techniques. She has tons and tons of videos on HSN, or excuse me, on the internet, on YouTube, and go to her Facebook page. She's always posting new things, but I'll tell you, this is a workhorse, and it's beautiful at the same time, which is really neat. So if you do not have an electronic die cutting machine, I would highly recommend the Empress, and we actually have it in stock. Unfortunately, I only have a little over 100 available. It's really actually very limited. So if you don't have a great machine, certainly that one is a huge favorite here at HSN. And quite frankly, worldwide, people love that Empress machine because it just works and it no more hand cranking. <laughs> All right, guys, here we're going really quick. I'm going to show you the Starburst one more time. Pat, what's the update for me? Okay, guys, we have sold already in just this hour. No, We've sold over a thousand. Okay, we've sold a whole lot. Okay, 1,100, there we go. I have 700 <laughs> left. Sorry, Anna, there you go. Tell us about this brand new item again. Oh, I, I love these, Suzanne. So six different Starbursts, right, with the shadow layer designed to create ornaments, die cuts, gorgeous place cards, gift toppers, and they all mix and match. You can layer them one on top of the next add your fancy papers, your Christmas papers, make a corsage, do all kinds of fun things, hang these on your Christmas tree. There, there are new spectacular Starburst dies. Okie dokie, so guys hang in there. All right, I have to give you a quick update. I love live TV. I hate computers, no I'm kidding. <laughs> It's all about the live TV right now and our fabulous operators are on the phones. If you're having a little bit of issue ordering on hsn.com, I am going to walk over there and cry uh, because you are. So do me a favor, if you want any of these kits, and I know some of them like the Starburst is very limited, please call somebody and say, hey, or use automated ordering. You gotta use your phone right now, so use your phone actively. If you've never tried calling in, we have the best customer service reps ever, and they will knock out your order really, really quickly. That is the only way right now that you can order. Hopefully, hsn.com will come up pretty quickly uh, before I boohoo on the air. But before I do that, let's talk about this. Another customer pick, another great sale item. 2325, this is the 3D Holiday Border Die Set. So cool, it is a very unique three-in-one. Anna, you guys have totally perfected this very intricate design. And we get four glorious borders. My gosh, these are pretty. Well, we call them 3D, Suzanne, for a reason. It's a brand new technology in the chemically etched dies. And that means that they engrave, they die cut, and they emboss. Meaning they do three things that regular ordinary dies, like, like the Starburst ones we just showed you, they cut and emboss, but these also engrave. So they're going to give us an incredible look, right? They're going to give us the ability to get this Dresden-like detail um, on out of, out of a matte foil cardstock. We have stars, I'm sorry, mine's upside down. Stars, trees, um, garlands, and little tiny bows. And they are so fun. Watch the, what we can do. Suzanne, we're cutting two borders at once because the die is two up. And I like that because, you know, if, if, if if you're cutting and you're doing a lot of crafting, I like to cut a lot of things at one time. Well, now I'm getting two borders in one pass, and they're, they're, I, mean, I have to use a tool in one to get this out. But look at what happens, all right? So that 
plain piece of paper is transformed into all those little bows. And then you take your craft knife and you just take this apart very quickly, right? And put these end to end. And now you have 14 inches of that beautiful bow uh, border that would look gorgeous around, um, it, you wanna say like, a, put it uh, on your Christmas tree, that garland that you were making with the starburst, Suzanne. This is the way you wanna do that. You wanna edge with these. You mm, wanna great. take these die cuts and create more embellishments with them. Like for instance, like this card, I love this because it looks like a present. And we've just used oh, so border, the border all the way around and then crisscross on the front. So it's up to you, you know, how you use them, but I think they're so delicate. We have, we did the, we did an everyday version of these um, earlier in the year. And so this is the Christmas version. So beautiful. Let me show you how easy it is to like use them. If you've got a Xyron machine um, and you have you, you have these beautiful borders, that edge to edge adhesive is so perfect. And I'm taking this and I'm going to I'm going the full seven inches of the card. I'm going to line up the two borders just to give myself that extra layer of excitement. And this is, this looks like the card came this way, right? This is so pretty just like it is. So I'm just gonna add a small embellishment. And then I have a beautiful finished card with lots and lots of detail. It looks like fancy tape. And if you're working with something like this and you're going, oh, what do I need to add a fancy edge to? These borders are going to do that for you. They do so much in just that one single pass. There, once upon a time, we had to uh, run these through, Suzanne. We had to, we had to cut one in one pass, and then we had to go back through and emboss in a second pass. Well, now we're engraving and die cutting and embossing all in one single pass and to get the most beautiful Christmas borders. And, and I, we're going to go really, really tight. No, thanks, guys. And I just we can you can tilt up or down, whichever way you want to go, because that's what she's talking about. That is such a nice shot. I'm actually going to hold my arm still because I'm going to move this table if I move. So I'm totally frozen. But look at how intricate those little details are. Isn't that stunning? And look at that very last one down there in the bottom. Let me shot slide it that way. Isn't that amazing, you guys? I mean, that's the kind of quality you get. This is the magic. Look at the scallop design. You know that's an open piece right there you're seeing? Look at all those wonderful stars. This could be a mini banner. Okay, Anna, so let's think about this. Maybe you just bought the die set to make the shutter, you know, the shutter card. How cute would that be to use these as part of that, that drapery? You could add even even more oh, yeah. yum yum on it or if you were doing a little <laughs> scene a holiday scene with a little maybe you have a stamp set that is a fireplace can you imagine how cool it would be to make garland out of these again i'm on, i'm on to christmas right now garland or if you want to do something like um a great little you know border along the little fireplace that you're designing i just love that you miniaturize this there's something really well, special about doing kind of a mini version as opposed to the really big border dies Right, right, and I like it. I like it this small too because the amount of detail in the three D technology is really second to none. This is this is something that you just can't do any other way than this brand new technology. So when you're putting something Good. together for a Christmas present or you're adding it to the face of a gorgeous card, you really do want to add multiples of these, right? So. Add, pile them on, turn them opposite directions, put one behind the other, to put multiples together into an entire um, border of, this is a six different borders cut all in one, one place. Now, when I look at this and I go to, all right, looking at what the background of the card looks like, or even here where we've combined it with other die cuts, this is the fancy trim. This is that passementry that you see on a, a, a pillow that a decorator might have made, right? This is the stuff that really sets the, the craft apart. It's the thing you want to add to your Christmas cards uh, this year, to the edge of the envelope, to the front of the envelope, to the card itself. It's definitely a border set you'll use over and over again. Oh, you know I love that one on the left, Anna, because that actually looks like a really decorative frame. 
It does. That's so and it pretty. is. Yes, it all is. All made with the borders. It's cool. <laughs> Imagine putting a picture in there. That'd be so gorgeous. Yeah. See, my brain just goes crazy when I see this stuff. All right, guys, uh, we're going to wrap up on that. I want to show you because we're talking about a lot, a lot of card making in this hour, which is always fun, and we love doing it. But let's make our envelopes sing a little bit more. And I got a quick minute because this is another one of our super sale items in this hour with Anna. It is the official 120 piece holiday floral envelope liners. So, Anna, share with us a little bit about this. <laughs> Suzanne, the mark of fine stationery is a foil envelope liner at Christmas. Look at this. So you're getting, the, all right, it's silver, it's gold, and it's red. And this is, there's over 100, there, there are 40 gold, 40 red, and 40 silver. There, It's 120 liners, right? There's adhesive here that goes in the mouth of the envelope. And sorry, I'm not, I shouldn't start with these. These are actually embossed. But this is what, when you look at a piece of fine stationery or a card that comes to your house at the holidays, it has a pretty liner like this. And uh, to have a hundred, right, or 40 of each color, you now can add this to pretty much any Christmas card that you make because of the color palette. It's a rich red, a, a beautiful gold, and a silver. Then you can get a little fancier and add a little embossing to these as well um, before you put them in the envelope. But the glue stick goes right below the glue line of your envelope. It's gonna fit any five by seven envelope that has a pointed flap. So Perfect. that means that you know you want the, this to align any of your any of your card kits uh, envelopes that we have. You know we were talking about they came in all those card kits. These you go right in the face of those envelopes. I love it. Okay, guys, and it's on sale. Did you see the price on that? Fourteen sixty-seven on clearance. I have less than three hundred available. Just a little heads up. Again, thank you for your patience, you guys. We're having a little trouble with the internet. <laughs> Gotta love computers. Uh, if you can, please use automated ordering on your phone or call in. There's there's literally a number right down the bottom of the screen, that 800 number right there, right there to call in. I never ever talk about that number. <laughs> I guess I should now. But anyway, that is the way to order any of these, really any of the items, quite frankly. And again, I appreciate your patience on the website if you're trying to order online. All right, we gotta keep going because we got more to get into. Gotta get yourself organized. And nobody does it in a more gracious manner than of course, Anna Griffin. Uh, we know so many of you, if you ever see those pictures that people post about their organized craft room, you will see they do it in themes, in Anna themes, many of them. And we have your choice of Emily, we have Lillian Lavender. Down below, this is Grace Floral White. My middle one is Ivory Damask, and the last one is called Grace Black Floral. Not only do you get this beautiful decorative box, but on top of that, you're going to get uh, 10 magnetic sheets, 10 sleeves with the pockets and tab dividers. You even get 36 pieces of the labels to go along with it to organize all your dies and your bossing folders. And just FYI, if you go onto hsn.com, well, when it's working, um, you're gonna be able to get more of the folders and the magnetic, um, um, pieces to go with it. So you can really stack these up and really fill the box up if you go online to get additional of these. So Anna, I love it too because there's so many, it's so cute when you go on Pinterest or you go on Instagram and you see people are proudly showing their craft room and you go, oh, that's an Anna design. <laughs> Right, it's definitely um, recognizable as such. Uh, Suzanne, this is this is the newest addition to our beautiful craft storage line of boxes that we made just for HSN. And we, uh, as someone that likes to be organized, and I like to know where my things are, this is a die storage box that we designed just for you. It has, uh, I'm gonna show you Lillian first. So it's a double wall box, right? This is a 300 point board that I think you could stand on this box. It's so strong. But when you're looking at the sleeves that come with this, the magnets are six by eight, which fit our five by seven or smaller die sets. And we gave you this little sleeve so that in case you had smaller dies that fell out, they could stay in the sleeve with it. And then you see we have our fancy French frames here all already organized in, in there we go, that, that's perfect. This is what happens, right? You, you're at home and you lose that really small little shadow die that you need to keep up with for your set. This is how that's gonna stay together and you'll have it all together. 
So when you're looking at this, the, the box is um, has a, a, a beautiful lid and top to it. So I, like I said, I can stand on this. This is not... Um, this is not a cardboard box, right? It's a board box, but it's hand wrapped, it's hand finished in the pattern of your choice. So if your craft room is full of grace black and all the things that are, you know, in this pattern, you see that the inside of this box is actually pink. And what's so pretty about it is that you get labels with your um, magnet mats and everything. Oh, we've got gazebo dies in here. This is nice and heavy. It's coming with these. And you can see how much more that you could put in this box by adding the magnets and the sleeves. And if you just go to hsn.com when it's working again, you can get the magnet and sleeves there to really fill the box up. But with it right out of the gate, you're getting 10 of these. You know what's really fun is recently, Anna, I decided to dive into, and I will tell you, I was on auto ship for a bunch of your embossing folders one time. <laughs> so I have a whole lot of your embossing folders and I have a whole lot of your dies too. And I love them. And I've got, you know, I got a lot of brands here at HSN. I just went in and I finally organized them all. And it made me so happy because now I can actually find them. I go, oh yeah, and I can keep all the pieces and parts, including the instructions in one of your sleeves. So I love that too. Exactly. And Suzanne, so many people collect their pattern. Um, that's why we have all we have all five patterns available right now, which I think is really fun. Uh, the brand new one is Lillian. That's the lavender background. Amelie is probably a fan favorite uh, right, right behind, well, maybe a close second to Grace Black. As far as those rooms, those craft rooms you keep talking about, I, I know that the Griffinites love to show us how they organize. Mm -hmm. And you know, my, shout out to my friend Diane Brennan, who her whole craft room is uh, is all Camilla, all in gray and pink, so beautiful. And she has taken, you know, she's taken this to heart, just like I, I would if I were starting out. Like, okay, I want to put everything. Anna in an Anna box. Well, you can do that. And you can do that really easily with this. And I think that having the dies at your fingertips. Now, the magnets do stick together in this set because there's one side of the sheet that's magnetic and the other side is printed with the ivory damask so that you can see the die, you know, from the face of the box. So you just, it, it's fun to get everything all in one place and, and get started with your crafting. And uh, you just have to choose which pattern you like the best. Well, let me give you an update. If you want Lillian Lavender, which is right here, it's got this beautiful soft sagey background, gorgeous florals. I have 80 left. That's almost sold out. Emily, I only have 115 now remaining. Again, first time we put these on sale, you guys have made them one of your favorites. And it really, is wonderful when you can go to one place and just go through it you know like a library card catalog and you can instantly see what you're looking for because you can label each one of these too and all the pieces and parts are there it makes crap when you get that little sliver of time to create which I don't have a lot of time between working and all the stuff I have going on it's wonderful just to open it up and you go oh, there it is oh my goodness and how many of you have so many dies and folders and instructions and they're spread all over the place or you get a big kit of anybody's quite frankly and you're like, oh my gosh, I've got the stamps, but where in the world did I do with the dies that match back to it? Getting them all together and grouped into one sleeve, really no matter what brand it is, quite frankly, is a blessing because we buy all this good stuff. We love a good sale like today, but yet we have it all scattered everywhere or we've lost pieces. That is the worst, Anna. I'll tell you, you might be having a really cool, cool stamp set and you cannot remember where in the world you put the dies and you don't know that they go together. So to have one place plus slip the instructions in and just pull the whole thing out, create, create, put it all back away, easy to find. It really makes a huge difference to really make your crafting time more fun, quite frankly. S Suzanne, I think that was a great point. You could take this magnet sheet and put your dies on your magnet sheet, keep the sleeve out, put your stamps right in the sleeve because it'll hold a five by seven stamp sheet. So easily done. All those little dies are all in one place, all with your stamps, all in your brand new box. Okay, guys, get organized. It'll make you so happy. It really did. I did it the other day. And not, I mean, I have a ton of Anna Griffin embossing folders. And guess what? You could put a bunch of dies in the front and then put a bunch of her embossing folders towards the back of that. That actually holds a lot. You'll be surprised at how that jumbled mess all of a sudden fits in a very small, perfect space once you get that kit. All right, and it's on sale too. Hey, by the way, stick with me. We've already sold a couple hundred of the Slimline cutting dies. You guys, we love the cutting dies. She has a set coming up. 
up. It's four dies, two different designs, a door and a window. They're so cool. Save for our show and perfect for the holiday season. We pr I promise we'll get to this. But now we're gonna talk about something that's truly iconic. This shot you're seeing right there is so familiar. You see it in dinnerware, you see it all over the place when it comes to the holidays. And Anna decided she was gonna make a 3D holiday tree die, which is absolutely detailed and stunning, like everything she does. So Anna, yes, very iconic that you decided to create this tree for us. Right, Suzanne, and it's 3D. Again, it's going to engrave, it's going to cut, it's going to emboss, and it's going to give you the most detail on a Christmas tree uh, that we've ever done to date. We've done Christmas trees, but never like this. It's completely decorated. It has beautiful candles on the branches, and you can not only use it as a die cut, but you can actually use the shadow layer to create a shaped wow. tree card should you want to. And, you know, it's really just up to you. It's making a full seven inch tree uh it's almost it's right at five inches wide at the base of the tree and like i said all that engraving it's all completely decorated and lifelike so if you're working with something like this for the first time and you're thinking okay I want to make a beautiful forest, uh, make several of these beautiful trees in a way that gives you, you know, multiples on the card or double up. There's a shadow layer behind the tree that you can create um, a beautiful secondary, you know, a thicker looking die cut. You can decorate these trees with stamps and stickers. We had all our beautiful 3D pop-up trees last year. Many of you have hundreds of these little die cuts that you can use to decorate the cards. It's really up to you. And even as you're working with, say, the Christmas tree itself, I mean, pattern paper, you can see how fun it is in the plaid. So it's really a, a versatile tree, but it is a singular tree, but, but it's 3D. It's something that you're gonna get a lifetime's worth of use out of, especially as you see how many different ways that you can actually decorate the cards and the trees themselves. But I have a bunch of those 3D ones to show you, Suzanne. I think this is where people get really excited about looking at some new way of doing something. So you use the shatter layer and you cut across the fold of a card, piece of card stock, and then you cut the tree and put it on top and decorate it with your jewels or the swags or maybe ornaments or flour flourishes. And even, I, I think this is really fun, where you can make yourself an easel card with the tree um, just by adding the tree to the base and to the top. So it's, you know, it's it's an ornament time again. You, I, you were talking about that earlier. That. The, so easy to get very creative with with this brand new die set. And again, I give out a lot of wine bottles during the holidays when I go to people's homes. That would be the coolest tag on top of a wine bottle. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in really, really tight on this one, guys. Again, you, ha you almost have to marvel at the detail. Like, look at this. So again, you're seeing the shadow layer in the back, and then this is that front layer with all of that three-dimensional embossing. It's truly spectacular. There's even, there it is. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit, guys, to so get a better look at that. Look at that down below. Is that, look at this, you didn't even see the stars, right? Look at the little, um, the little ornaments right here and the candles on a traditional, old-fashioned German Christmas tree or European Christmas tree. It's spectacular what she's done in this single die, and then again, there's the background die. See that solid behind it that really makes it pop. And Anna, I love that idea of making a single card out of it too. And again, Anna, do you happen to have instructions online for how to make the card? Because if there's a little trick to putting the die on the, uh, the edge, right? It is. It's something that we do every day in finishing school, which is our online learning curriculum. Uh, and you just, it, it is so simple. Yes, I show you in Charm School every Tuesday on my blog. Um, there's lots of places that you'll get those instructions. Perfect. So if you guys didn't know how to do that, because I know we had to move for the quickly, Anna, to the rescue. She got you covered online. Okay, so now we're going to move on. Again, if you guys can use, please go to your phones, use automated ordering through your phone. That is the way to order. Unfortunately, hsn.com right now is not available. So I do appreciate your patience, at least write an item number down to take advantage of some of the sale prices and some of the limited quantity that we have. All right, big drum roll on this one. This is fabulous. I'm so glad we're wrapping up our hour with Anna with this. It is perfect for the holiday season or quite frankly, any time, but certainly for the holidays. Um, this is the door and window slimline cutting dies, the door and window slimline cutting dies. And what's so cool is everybody is just 
crazed over Slimline. In fact, Anna, I do a four o'clock show for my house every Tuesday, East Coast time, and I'll do it tomorrow. And people keep asking me, is Anna doing more Slimline? What is she doing? And I go, of course she is. <laughs> and this one is such a neat set. Yeah, it is so great because, uh, Suzanne, we've done lots of door dyes and decorations. We've done embossing folders. We've done all kinds of things just for HSN, especially around the holidays. And this set is really magnificent because it's the entire front of the card again, the whole slimline card. We have a window die that cuts open the window. We have a fancy door die that the door actually opens. And you're not having to choose. You're going to get both. And this is what they do right all those beautiful embellished places to embellish see there's how the window opens it's all scored right there same with the door it's also scored so that you can create something in the opening of the door and if you're thinking about okay your christmas card right needs to be a little you know taste of home that's how it's so done pretty. you are just wow. it's got the prettiest way of giving you a festive uh -huh. holiday card but also it you know easily adapts into a birthday card style of maybe oh, a shower invitation beautiful. anything that you want to create that gives you a sense of place and that's what's been this you know this whole year Suzanne has been about architecture for us and we have been doing some amazing things with buildings and and, and the doors and the windows and so the slimline card format is that number 10 business envelope uh, size. And when you're looking at, say, um, the, the window itself, I'm just gonna cut this really quickly uh, with my Empress machine. Uh, this is the extra long plate set for the, uh, the Empress Mini. But what's so great about using the long die, right? It's, it's gonna cover all the face of the card. You don't have to do much else once you've got this going. So. You see how everything wow. is all completely done, and it looks like a you know a beautiful French chateau. Maybe you know Mr. Darcy is running out from the side, and he's coming up on his horse, and <laughs> and you are you know you are as enamored with this as I am. Right when you get this gorgeous like Palladian kind of window with a balustrade, and you see decorating it for whatever the holiday, you can get really excited about having a birthday card or adding a Christmas wreath. It's just, it's such an easy die set to work with. And you're like, okay, you won't, this won't get lost in your craft room. Meaning that, you know, it's not like anything else that you have. It's like, oh, I know where my door dies are. My beautiful window dies from Anna Griffin because they're so big. They're a full <laughs> nine inch die. And well, so that's what's fun. You can make even bigger cards if you wanted to. And by the way, we sold almost 400 now. And again, it's on sale for the first time. It's you guys love it. It's one of your favorites. It's a customer pick. They spent $33.99 not $27.99 and of course we have five flex. Also think about this, it's welcome home. Maybe someone's been away for a long time. Maybe they're returning from a military deployment. Maybe it's welcome to your new home. Welcome to the new baby. Uh, you know, there's just so many ways that you can work with this. And I also love the idea, Anna, of making a scene behind it. It might be a little kitty, you know, on a chair back there. Maybe you've got stamp sets <laughs> that you can actually create looking through the window and seeing what's going on inside. Can you imagine putting a half of a Christmas tree kind of peeking out on one side of that window and creating almost a moment? I think there's so many, ma uh, think Halloween. How fun would it be to do a window with all Halloween surrounding it? That would be awesome. So I have all those, Suzanne, to show oh, you. I, there, this is really fun. So so there's a little lady, one of our paper dolls, and she's looking at her Christmas tree, and we're looking at her through the window. That's it great. is just like that. You're creating a gorgeous scene. And so here, you know, I have a, a slimline card that I've started with a little, um, em, our slimline embossing folders as a base. And that gorgeous cut that we just did, right, goes right in the center. So we, this is a, a matte foil in the ice blue. The, what's so pretty is adding a little, you know, swag. Like if you were actually decorating your house, right? Add those beautiful embellishments of roses and maybe you just want a little tiny Joyeux Noel sticker right in the center. So it's 
it's going to be you decorating your window, right, in the style in which you love, right? And maybe maybe it's something like this. You have our 120 wreath stickers, the everyday stickers. Add a little stamping ink to the face of that embossing and give the door that all that relief. Or just you want a big fancy gold window, there you go, very festive, perfectly perfect use of the slimline door die. Oh, that's cute. Is that a birthday one? Yeah, and oh, it opens. Adorable. Ready? Yeah. Wait for it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and again, you know, it's so much fun because that's the surprise within the surprise, you know. And, and I just think the ideas, again, are endless because, you know, there's something welcome about windows and doors. And there's so many different themes you can do, whether it's welcome the new baby, welcome home, welcome to your new house. Just a view, a scene you want to create. It's truly magical. And, the, and to be able to have dyes that do that instantly. Like, guys, back in the day, Anna used to fussy, it's called fussy cutting. She used to cut all this stuff out. It'd make you crazy trying to... But that's what she's famous for. She's so well known for it. Now she's made it easy for the rest of us to have a card that looks amazing. Or even I love the idea of putting it on a scrapbook page. That would be really cool because yeah. it's such a large element for a page. All right, Miss Anna, we love you as always. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, Suzanne. I'll see you on October the 5th. All right, baby, it's gonna be fun. And by the way, guys, please go to automated ordering. Use your phones to be able to order. Thanks for hanging out with me. Join me four o'clock in the afternoon from my house on Facebook and then more tomorrow night on Facebook. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. Did you know that we have amazing items and deals you'll never see on air? That's right. You'll only find them at hsn.com. We're talking top brands, exclusive names and bundles, plus thousands of products all the time. Discover all our best deals all in one place, including offers you'll see online only. And with hundreds of videos and customer reviews, we make it easy to shop smart. Click, explore, discover, and get more of what you love. Only at hsn.com. Don't miss a thing with the HSN app. Get 